author, Claire McCary, joins us to talk about her Lenten devotional with our Savior. I have a copy right here in my hands. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me on the show. And before we really start, I have to say, you brought your mom? I did. Is that for emotional support? She's sitting over yeah, there? Yeah, she's my number oh, no, one. No, I'm not going to call you up here. Don't worry, because I would not survive the show <laughs> if I did that. And I know that. Well, Lent is just around the corner. Uh, tell us about your devotional um, to observe the season, because I'm really interested about this. Well, thank you. Well, my editor gave me the title, With Our Savior, and I absolutely love it because it was a wonderful inspiration for every single devotion that I wrote. I think we're all very good about remembering that Jesus gave up his life for us on the cross, but I think sometimes we forget day in, day out, he's ready and available to save us from whatever we're struggling with. Um, if we're about to lose our patience, if we're struggling with forgiveness, uh, don't have energy to get through the rest of the day, all we have to do is go to him and ask and he'll save us from all the small struggles we face. So I think it's important to remind ourselves of that as adults, but I think we also need to teach our children that so that they turn to him as well for how they need to be saved. You know, Claire, with, with our Savior, you make an interesting uh, suggestion, which really syncs with what we do here on Catholic TV, because we pray a lot, as we mentioned earlier in the show, during the day, we pray the Rosary, the Divine Mercy Chapel at the Angelus, the Mass, of course, and the Rosary. But you suggest that some of these devotions that are private to us don't necessarily need to be, that using the technology of the day, that we can pray more as a group, pray with our friends, our family. Can you explain a bit about that? Sure. Um, for Jesus calls us all to be disciples. And so uh, for years, I felt called to fish for moms. So I ran retreats. Um, I have a blog where I post weekly called shiftingmyperspective.com about faith and motherhood. Um, but with this devotional, what I wanted to do was I wanted to cast the net wider okay. and bring the whole family together and bring the whole family to God to again remind us that he's ready and waiting to save us. Um, so my hope is that the more hands we can get this devotional into, the more families that will be praying together because Jesus himself said wherever two or more are gathered in his name there is love and I think sometimes in the family unit we can struggle and we have rough edges and we, we rub up against each other and we need that love and that grace from God to soften those edges hmm. to bond us closer together and, and bring us to him. Yeah, I love that you talk about the family and praying together because I, I think that we fall into a trap sometimes where we think, okay, we're going to send our kids off to religious ed and we're going to do this, when in fact it's up to us as parents. We both have three kids. Yes, we do. Uh, with two boys and a girl. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's up to us as parents to really educate our children in the faith, right? Absolutely. And the more we role model that with them, the more we're leading them in that, the more that they, it will be ingrained in them. One thing that you have in the, the book that I, I really enjoy is at the top you have a quote. So tell us about that. Well, each day starts off with a scripture passage. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was to show the entire family how applicable the Bible still is today. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we forget that. We think it was written long ago, therefore it doesn't apply. Um, and so it was important to me to root it in Scripture so that we're always coming back to that, always coming back to God's Word because it's, it's the how-to manual of how to live. Now, with Lent coming up so quickly just around the corner, a little birdie told me that there's a special code that you can use, like if you wanted to get a whole, as we say here in New England, a whole bunch of these <laughs> uh, for, for friends and family. Is that true? That's true. That's true. The um, website to get it is livingfaith.com slash family, and the code is FM3TV. And if you input that code, you get free shipping, and the booklet's only $2.99. Love free shipping. <laughs> I really do. So, so as you're writing this, yes. I'm just curious. Sure. As you're writing this, was it difficult? Were you thinking of your kids? Were you thinking of your experiences? How was it? Oh, it was, it was a transformative experience. I started, um, I have a friend, Sister Bridget Haas, who's been a wonderful mentor to me. And she emailed me and said, be sure you pray every day before writing. And so I would literally sit on the floor, open my Bible, and I would read that day's passage. And inevitably, I didn't even have to think about it. The words just flowed, which in my opinion is the Holy Spirit talking through me, which was my whole goal to begin with. I'm just the scribe. 
Yeah, and with, with lunch right around the corner, again, where can people get a copy? How do they do it? They can get it at livingfaith.com mm -hmm. slash family. And again, if they put the code in FM3TV, um, they get free shipping, and it's only two ninety nine. And your Fantastic. blog again? Where do they? Oh, where? thank you. My blog is shiftingmyperspective.com, and Shifting. I post weekly about faith and motherhood. So you're a little busy. I am, I am but I love it. Claire, it's been so fun having you on the program. Yeah, oh, it really has. So thank you so much for your visit. Thank and, you. and thanks to your mom over there too. Thank you for because we know who the boss is. Oh, we, absolutely. We know what's going absolutely. On.